how to overclock a controller in 2025 without any BS. Let's get to it. First things first, you need to click on the website in the description here. Once you're on the screen, now you're just going to go ahead and you click on this link, which is the second last one. From here, you will then go ahead to the top right and go download the raw file. Once you have that downloaded, you'll open that up into wherever you have it downloaded from. You'll right click on it. You can go ahead and extract all it's extracted in your, in your desktop or your downloads, wherever you feel like it. Once you open it up, you're going to have to go into the driver folder. From here, you're going to hit up the setup button, which will then create the installation files for it and it'll get running through it. Once you're in this screen, then you go down to here, select the drop down box, go all USBs, find your controller. For mine, it's going to be this scuff. I'm going to click on the scuff here. I'm going to go down to the filter on device that that said yes. On the rate, you're going to select the rate and you change it to 1000 if you can. If you're running a PlayStation 5 controller, that goes to 8000. Otherwise, most other controllers will be at 1000. Hit on the 1000, make sure filter's on, install service after that. Hit open. Once you're done that, restart it, unplug the controller and plug it back in and you're ready to go just like that. 